Yeah. Welcome everyone to the maths class. Um, as you know, uh, from the last class, we have started a new chapter that is uh, differential equations. And uh, uh, in this, our focus is mainly on um, finding the solutions of the differential equation. Okay. Um, and uh, the first kind of differential equation is uh, like which we can solve is um, variable separable form that we have studied and uh, we have also solved some questions and some tricks associated with it and after that uh, we studied a diff homogeneous um, differential equation and uh, uh, we understood that we have to convert that in the either y by x or x by y form and then um, uh, by substitution y by x equal to v or x by y equal to v we can solve that differential equation another kind of differential equation is a non-homogeneous okay um so as i said like what is the homogeneous differential equation if you remember um homogeneous is like whenever all the powers uh, we said like whenever Let's say all the powers of the numerator and denominator hmm, are of, let's say, same degree. Okay, so you can take something common out. Um, so, for example, if you look into our question um, here, in, let me show you. Um, yeah, for example, this here, the first term x square y is of um, degree three. In the next also term, we have degree three. So if you take y cube common, you'll get the equation in terms of x by y. If you take x cube common, you'll get the equation in terms of y by x, right? So all the powers, uh, all the terms should be of same degree so that you will end up with the um, uh, equation in terms of y by x or x by y, right? But if it is not the case, look at the uh, current slide here. Um, where dy by dx is equal to a1x plus b1y plus c1 and divided by a2x plus b2y plus c1. Even here, if you take x, x common, uh, what will happen? a1 plus b1y by x plus c1 by x, it will happen. You will not get equation in terms of y by x or something like that, right? So in such situation, uh, how to deal with the problem, right? So if let's say a1 by a2, there can be two cases. a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 or a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, um, then obviously there is a substitution. You can clearly see like um, uh, you can take some term common and directly you can do the substitution because the ratio is same. Um, the example could be like 2x plus 3y plus c1 divided by x plus y plus c2. So only the ratio of 2 is there, right? Uh, 2 as to 1. So you can easily do the substitution and solve the problem. But the problem comes whenever like we don't have, um, uh, let's say, the um, a1 equal to sorry, a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Okay, so this is the main tricky part here because um, in the first case, we can easily solve the problem by using substitution. Okay, let me show first example. Look at this question 2x plus 2y minus 1 dx equal to x plus y plus 1 dy. Okay, so in short, dy by dx will look like this. So is it same as what I have shown you before? Yes, right? It is in terms of a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by a2x plus b2y plus c2. Here, if you clearly see a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. Okay? Because 2 by 1, 2 by 1 ratio is maintained. So directly, if you put x plus y equal to v, this substitution, okay? The substitution, if you do, ultimately um, you will be able to reduce uh, your equation to this form dv by dx 
is minus 1 equal to 2v minus 1 divided by v plus 1. How this is done? Uh, we have differentiated x plus y equal to v. So differentiation of x is 1. Differentiation of y is dy by dx. And differentiation of v is dv by dx. Okay. So dy by dx is dv by dx minus 1. Okay. That's how this first term uh, we have calculated. And yeah, after that, you can easily convert that into a, a variable separable form, which looks like this. And uh, if you take the uh, differentiation on both the sides, uh, problem is easily solved. Okay. So this is not a difficult type. Like whenever we have, even though we have a non-homogeneous um, differential equation, but the ratios are same of the coefficients of x and y, that is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, problem can be solved by using substitution. Okay. But in the second case, how to do how to deal um, it's a little bit different okay not that difficult um, if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 okay the second case here so what you have to do the substitution you have to do substitution as the small x here you will write it as capital x plus h and small y here in the equation you will write it as capital y plus k so your equation number one will look like as equation number two. Okay. Equation number one will look like equation number two now because um, we are writing small y as capital Y plus K. K is a constant. H is also constant. So differentiation of Y with respect to X now. Now it is capital. Okay. Because um, if you take derivative of this first uh, x is equal to x plus h and y is equal to y plus k, you will end up with a d of small x is equal to d of capital X and d of small y equal to capital Y. So this differentiation is in equation number two is capital Y and capital X. So it's a dy by dx where x and y are capital. And now I'm just replacing the x and y with respect to x plus h and uh, y plus k respectively okay uh, yeah so that is the first part and uh, uh, you how you will decide the value of h and k that is the main question now okay so how you will do how you will do that h and k are calculated by considering this equation let, let let me write it as equation number three here okay so the set of equations which are given in equation three that is a1h plus b1k plus c1 equal to zero a2h plus b2k plus c2 equal to zero so if when you solve these two equations you will get the values of h and k okay and that is the what you will use in the equation number two okay and uh, <coughs> Once you do that, automatically the problem is, let's say, um, um, converted to the, let's say, either uh, uh, you can say um, variable separable form, basically. Okay. So, So basically, uh, sorry, it's uh, converted to the homogeneous form. And then you know how to deal with the problem. Okay, so that is the overall idea. Um, I'll repeat um, the case two. In the case two, a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So you have to do the substitution x is equal to capital X plus H and y is equal to capital Y plus K. And this H and K is calculated by the set of equations, uh, by solving the set of equations mentioned by three here, A1H plus B1K plus C1 equal to zero and A2H plus B2K plus C2 equal to zero. Okay. Um, and once you solve it, you'll get the value of H and K, put it into equation number two, and then you will convert the non-homogeneous differential equation into the homogeneous differential equation. 
So that is the overall process um, you should know. Okay. Um, so maybe I'll give one homework question on this, um, which you can try. Uh, let me give it here. I don't have this additional slide here. You try this for homework. Um, which of the following substitution H comma K reduces one homogeneous equation dy by dx equal to y plus x minus 2 y minus x minus 4 to homogeneous. Options are like minus one comma three, three comma minus one, three comma one, minus three minus one. Okay, and the correct answer here is option number A. Option A that is minus one comma three. Okay, so you can clearly see it is type two problem where a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two. A one by a two is minus one. B one by b two is plus one. So you try to solve this and uh, get the uh, correct answer here, OK? Uh, and uh, for type 1, I have already shown you one problem. So this is just for your information. Like um, mainly, um, if you look into the previous papers, uh, we haven't got questions on the main, on non-homogeneous. But you should know how to deal with the problem. Uh, so there can be two kinds, case one and case two, a one by two equal to b one by b two, which is very simple. Just by solution, you can get the answer. And second one is a one by two is not equal to b one by b two. You have to get the values of h and k. That is little tricky part. Okay. Any doubt till this? Okay. Then the next type of differential equation is exact and non-exact differential equation. Okay. Exact and non-exact. When we say a differential equation is a exact differential equation, let's see. Okay, so if we, if we have an equation in the form of mdx plus ndy equal to zero, mdx plus ndy equal to zero, where m and n are the functions of x and y, okay? M and N are the functions of X and Y. Said to be exact differential equation. Okay. If it satisfies the condition, this condition, differentiation of M with respect to Y, if it is equal to differentiation of N with respect to X. Okay. I'll repeat. Differentiation of M with respect to Y, if it is equal to differentiation of N with respect to X, then only you can say, that the given differential equation is the exact differential equation. And if they are not equal, then it is non-exact differential equation. D exact differential equation and a non-exact differential equation can be solved by different methods. If the equation is exact, then the solution of the differential equation is given by equation number one. Okay. So how you'll give the solution? Integration of m with respect to dx, okay? Considering y as a constant term, okay? Um, so first is, let me just use the pointer here. What you are doing is diff integrating m with respect to dx, considering y as a constant, plus, okay, let me just uh, maybe, so what is our equation? M dx plus N dy, right? So you will directly integrate it. That's all. But whenever you're integrating M with respect to dx, what you have to do? Considering Y as a constant. And whenever you are integrating N with respect to dy, you don't have to 
consider the terms of x okay so without x so or in other words terms of n not containing x okay that is what you have to consider uh, while integrating okay so i hope you understood um, how to get the solution for the exact differential equation okay let me just give one question to you um i have solved it and then i will give you questions and you have to solve it okay so this this first question is already solved um so it is y into 1 plus um 1 upon x y into 1 plus 1 upon x uh, so yeah let me just use the razor point yeah y into 1 plus 1 upon x plus cos y dx into and plus x plus log of x minus x sin y bracket close dy equal to 0 different sorry uh, the coefficient of dx is m and coefficient of dy is n okay so you got m you got n differentiation of m with respect to y what is the value 1 plus 1 upon x as it is differentiation of cos y is minus sin y differentiation of n with respect to x is 1 plus 1 upon x minus sin y as it is because differentiation of x is 1. So both differentiation of m with respect to y and differentiation of n with respect to x is same. Hence the given differential equation is exact differential equation. Okay. If it is exact, the solution is pretty simple. m as it is, integration of m with respect to dx considering y as a constant term and uh, terms of x sorry terms of n without x so if you see n in every term x is there in first term x is there second term log x x is there third term x is again there so there is no term without x so that's why integration of zero dy okay so second term anyway gone first term integration pretty simple y as it is integration of one is x integration of one upon x is log of x cos y is constant as it is integration with respect to dx is x so this is the final solution i hope you understood the process okay so um let me give you one question um, and you try to solve it y sine of 2x dx minus 1 plus y square plus cos square x dy equal to 0. Okay, solve this question and tell me the answer. First of all, check whether it's if it is exact or not. Yes, it's exact, correct, Arjun. Um, uh, what is the solution? If, see, this is M and this is N. Differentiation of M with respect to Y is sine of 2X. Differentiation of N with respect to X is 0 plus 0 plus 2 cos of X and differentiation of cos of X is sine of X. 2 cos x sin x is sine of 2x. So it is same, hence exact. If it is exact, then integration is 
quite simple y sine of 2x dx as it is considering y as a constant plus sorry minus integration of 1 plus y square plus cos square x okay but we don't have to consider the terms containing x so i will not consider this cos square x term so this is the only part we have to consider while taking the integration okay so integration of uh, y sine of 2x is y as it is integration of sine of 2x is minus cos of 2x divided by 2 minus integration of 1 is y plus integration of y square is y cube by 3 bracket close is equal to c that's all yes correct arjun so this is the final solution so I'll give one homework question to you. Um, you try to solve it. Um, py dx plus one plus sine square y plus cos square x dy equal to zero is exact. Okay. Then P is equal to okay this is the homework question try it answer is p is equal to minus sine of 2x okay you solve it and uh, check whether you you are also getting the same answer or not solve this whenever you get some free time so if it is exact things are very very clear and simple what and if uh, equation is a um, non-exact okay uh, that is differentiation of m with respect to y is not equal to differentiation of n with respect to x okay so if that is not the case then how to solve it okay that is the main question so the answer is by multiplying the equation with the integrating factor okay take a non-exact differential equation okay that is for example mdx plus ndy equal to zero here is a non-exact differential equation you can convert this non-exact differential equation to an exact differential equation by multiplying with the integrating factor okay so if you multiply entire equation with the integrating factor your non-exact differential equation will become exact differential equation okay. and then you know how to solve the exact differential equation right so how to convert non-exact to exact uh, as i said by integrating factor the question comes how to find the integrating factor so there are different possible cases which we have to take into the consideration while calculating the integrating factor. Case number one, in mdx plus ndy equal to zero equation, if m and n terms are of same degree, okay? If the uh, all terms are of same degree, then integrating factor is one upon mx plus n by, okay? mx plus n by is the integrating factor. Um, m mx plus ny meaning is m into x plus n into y okay it is not the differentiation of m with respect to m multiply by x plus n multiply by y is the integrating factor okay second case if equation is of, of the form let's say from m you can take y common so you can write y f of x comma y dx and from n if you can take x common so you can write n as x times g of x comma y under this situation okay or in this type of cases um, 1 upon mx minus n y is the uh, integrating factor okay so this is the so don't get confused 1 upon mx plus n y in the first case 1 upon mx minus n y in the second case again as i'm saying it is m multiplied by x and minus n multiplied by y. Case number three, 
if differentiation of m with respect to y my so basically you already calculated differentiation of m with respect to y and differentiation of n with respect to x if if they are same their subtraction will be zero right so and it will be exact so you don't have to worry but if they are not same then either check whether their difference that is differentiation of m with respect to y minus differentiation of n with respect to x is it creating a function of x or constant term okay sorry divided by n also you have to do and check whether it is creating a function of x only on and the constant if it is the case then e to the power f of x dx will be the integrating factor okay in the same way differentiation of n with respect to dx minus differentiation of m with respect to y divided by m if it is creating function of y only or constant then e to the power g of y dy will be the integrating factor okay and the last method is if question doesn't fit into either of these then there is a trial and error method or inspection method you have to use there is no other way to solve the problem okay but ultimately um, from exam point of view um, the question will be either of these four um, types okay type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 so let's try to solve a question from each type so that we will understand it into the detail so let me just uh, give you first question um x square y dx minus x cube plus y cube dy equal to 0 okay so this is the given question um uh, first of all check whether it is exact or not and uh, if it is exact solve it if it is not exact make it exact and solve it what is differentiation of m with respect to y is this is your m right and this is your n so differentiation of m with respect to y is x square and differentiation of n with respect to x is minus 3x square they are not same hence it is non not like non exact differential equation hence hence it's non exact differential equation to convert into the exact differential equation you have to calculate integrating factor how to calculate integrating factor in this case can you tell me in which type it fits type 1 2 3 and 4 anyone can anyone tell me in the previous slide we have studied uh, case 1 case 2 case 3 and case 4 in which case this problem fits case 1 yes correct so according to case 1 if the powers of all the terms okay if it is same all the terms are of same degree basically what is the first term m m is with a degree 3 n is also with degree 3 all the terms are with a degree 3 okay so i can say mm, so basically we can uh, uh, directly use the formula 1 upon mx plus ny will be the integrating factor mx plus ny x cube y it will come m into x plus n into y will be minus because my n is minus is there so um x raised to the power 3y <coughs> plus yeah it will again minus um, y raised to the power 4 so this x cube by x cube by will get cancel 1 upon y raised to the power 4 is the integrating factor okay 
So basically, if you multiply the equation with this, you can convert the given equation to the exact. Okay, let me show you how. If it is really happening or not. Okay, one upon y raised to the power four into x square y dx minus one upon y raised to the power four into x cube plus y cube. x cube plus y cube dy equal to zero. Okay, so it is x square by y raised to the power three dx is minus uh, one by y power four. No sir, integrating factor. Ah yes, sorry. Yeah, minus. So here it will become minus. Here it will become plus. Here it will become minus minus x square by y cube dx plus um, x cube by y raised to the power four plus one by y dy. Okay. So now this is your new m and this is new your new n. Now check. Now check whether differentiation of m with respect to x with respect to y and differentiation of n with respect to x. What is the differentiation of m with respect to y? Is 3x square by y raised to the power 4. Try to solve it, you'll get it. And same way, differentiation of n with respect to x is 3x square by y raised to the power 4. They are same. Okay. Hence, exact. So basically, um, and you know how to solve the exact differential equations. We'll not uh, repeat the same thing again because it's just a matter of integration. You will integrate this part as well as this part. In this part, this will not come because uh, that x term is there. So integration of one upon y is log of y. Integration y can y is equal to constant. You have to do so minus one by y cube as it is. Integration of x square is x cube by three. That's all. Okay, this is the final answer. So, um, the main task here is to find the integrating factor. So, this is a very important part from the non exact differential equation point of view. Because exact, you know, uh, so this is an extra step I have done. Uh, you don't Sir, have. To... Yes. Sir, in the second term, uh, x cube by y power 4 uh, y, we have not uh, integrated, sir. Because whenever we have an exact differential equation, what is the solution of exact differential equation? Is integration of m with respect to dx considering y as a constant. And in the second term, integration of n it, it is such a way that terms of n not containing x. Okay. So whichever terms are there in N, in which X is there, you have to neglect it. So only the terms without X, you have to integrate, okay? That is the solution. So that is the overall formula for um, basically calculating the solution of exact differential equation. So that's why I have not considered it and only consider one upon Y because in this term, x cube is there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So that is the overall process. Let me just give you another question. Um, give me a minute. X into x minus two y dy plus x square plus y square plus 1 dx equal to 0. Okay. Question here is find an integrating factor. Options. Upon x square. Upon y square. Upon x square y square. Or upon x y. Okay, I'll wait for um, one minute. 
it, try to solve and tell me it's better. Okay, can you tell me in which type? Um, first of all, it is exact or non-exact? Differentiation of m with respect to y and uh, differentiation of n with respect to x. Yes, it's non-exact, correct, Arjun, and Likhit. Um, here, don't just blindly say first term is m and second term is n. Coefficient of dx is m. And coefficient of dy is n okay so you should focus um, on the coefficient of dx and dy so differentiation of m, m with respect to y is 2y and differentiation of n with respect to x is 2x minus 2y okay so they are not same so it's non-exact um, that is why they are asking us to calculate the integrating factor. Can you tell me in which type it fits? Whether the type one or case one? No, case one is not possible because all the terms are of not, not same degree. Because look at this, x square plus y square plus one. One is there, there is no coefficient of one. Um, so it is not uh, considered as a type one problem. Or the case one case two it's not also case two because we cannot take uh y common from the let's say m and uh, you cannot take x common from the n right so that is also not possible but case three is possible differentiation of m with respect to y minus differentiation of n with respect to x so look at it whenever you are looking into the problem itself you will get idea that these two terms, if you subtract, will get cancelled. Okay. So only thing is you have to divide with which term that is what you have to think. And that is nothing but a um, the term n here. So rather than it will not cancel actually, let me show you how it will happen. Differentiation of n with respect to y minus differentiation of n with respect to x divided by n. If you do, it is 2y minus of 2x minus 2y divided by x times x minus 2y. So basically it is 2y minus 2x plus 2y. So basically it is uh, minus 2x plus 4y. And now if you take 2 common, minus 2 common, what will happen? x minus 2y it will happen. And divided by x into x minus 2y is already there. So 2x minus 2y, x minus 2y will it cancel. So it is minus 2 by x will remain. So integrating factor will be e to the power integration of minus 2 by x dx. So e to the power minus 2 as it is. Integration of 1 upon x is log of x. So it is e to the power log of x raised to the power minus 2. So it is x raised to the power minus 2 answer. And that is means 1 upon x square. Hence option A is correct. Okay, is it clear till this? Any doubt? Sir, uh, by seeing how you decided uh, it uh, fits in case 3, sir. 
P, I started with case one. Case one is not satisfied because we don't have same degree terms. Case two also not satisfied because we cannot take y common from M. Though x is taken common from uh, N, we don't have y term here. Okay, uh, let's say it's one there. So I cannot take y common. So I have to check for three and four. So three and four you can check together. Okay, so you try to uh, take subtraction of both of them. Okay, first take, uh, let's say, differentiation of n with respect to y minus differentiation of n with respect to x. So ultimately you will realize that you will get terms in the form of uh, subtraction of x and y, right? And uh, now think which term you can use either of n and m in division so that uh, there is chances of cancellation of those terms and uh, you will get the function in the in the form of either x or y so basically yes that only i'm like one by m i'm checking the um, cases case one and two you can directly check by visualization you don't have to do anything but either case three or four that you have to decide by trial but i don't think it's difficult you can just do the sub subtraction you'll get idea in division what you have to use okay in numerator is almost same in both in both case three and four we just have like um first term and sec second term is just interchange right so their subtraction will just sign will change nothing will happen so you take a difference and then decide what denominator you have to use okay in order to get the function in terms of x or y so that approach you can use so it will be easy okay okay understood or not Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Let me give you another question. Um, y into 1 minus xy dx minus x into 1 plus xy dy equal to 0. So it's a, a non exact differential equation given. Question is find the integrating factor. So first of all, check type one fits. No, type two. Yes, type two fits here because here it is y times f of x comma y dx minus x or plus um, x times g of x comma y dy. Okay. In this situation, the integrating factor is one upon mx minus ny. So in this case, M, you know, this first term is M, second term is N. So integrating factor is one upon MX plus NY, M into X is XY into, sorry, XY to one minus XY minus N into Y is XY into one plus XY. If you solve it, one upon x y minus x square y square plus minus minus will become plus okay so x square sorry x y plus x square y square so here this x square y square x square y square will get cancelled one upon two x y is the integrating factor Okay, one upon two x y is the integrating factor. Yeah. Just one more point you should know: if in options one upon x y is there, but and one upon two x y is not there, then also you can directly choose one upon x y because constant doesn't matter uh, when it comes to the um, converting non-exact to the exact, okay?
Yes, so the final answer in this case is log of x by y minus x y equal to c. Correct, Arjun. Um, so this is the final answer. If you solve this uh, differential equation, okay. Uh, this is the integrating factor. Multiply this integrating factor, you will get exact equation, and then solve it. You'll end up with this answer. Okay. Um, the overall intention now I'm just explaining is to you should know how to convert into exact because you know already how to solve the exact differential equation. Let me give you one last question. Um, y raised to the power 4 plus 2y dx plus xy cube plus 2y raised to the power 4 minus 4x dy equal to 0. Okay, this is m. This is n. Question here is what is the integrating factor? Check whether it fits in type 1. No, all terms are of not same degree. Type 2, no. We cannot take x common from the n. Okay, type 3 or type 4, you have to decide. For that, you have to calculate differentiation of m with respect to y and differentiation of n with respect to x. Differentiation of m with respect to y is 4y cube plus 2. Differentiation of n with respect to x is y cube minus 4. Okay. So basically their difference or their subtraction will be in terms of y only. So you have to choose m into division. You can't choose n into division here because you cannot, with that you will not be able to convert the entire function into the single variable or constant. Okay, so that is why I will choose type 4. Why? Because I, my target is to convert the um, equation that is differentiation of m with respect to y minus differentiation of n with respect to x. If I do it and divide by n, it's not correct because I will get um, function in terms of x and y. I want either in terms of x or either in terms of y. So if you look, um, here it is in terms of y, their subtraction is in terms of y and m is also in terms of y. So I, I have to write it like this, the differentiation of n with respect to x minus differentiation of m with respect to y divided by m. Okay, divided by m. So this is our integrating factor and this is type 4. So what is differentiation of n with respect to x? y cube minus 4. Differentiation of m with respect to y is 4y cube plus 2 divided by m is y raised for 4 plus 2y. So if you further solve this, y cube minus 4y cube is minus 3y cube minus 6 divided by y raised to the power 4 plus 2y. So what you can take common from the numerator? Minus 3. y cube plus 2. From denominator, if I take y common, y cube plus 2. So y cube plus 2, y cube plus 2 will get cancelled. Minus 3 y y is the rating factor. That's all. Sorry, not minus 3 by y. Here, this is minus 3 by y. And integrating factor will be equal to e to the power integration of minus 3 by y dy. So it is e to the power minus 3 log y. It is equal to e to the power log of y raised to minus 3. So it is y raised to minus 3, which is 1 upon y cube. Okay. 1 upon y cube is the integrating factor in this case. Is it clear? Any doubt till this? Okay. 
Okay. So uh, maybe one last homework question I'll give. For the previous question, mm -hmm. uh, y square is equal to c is the solution, sir. Um, solution I don't have with me. Um, in for this problem, um, if you can try. Um, you just have to multiply with uh, y cube. So let me just show you how what will happen. How the equation um, will convert um, y plus 2 by y square dx plus x plus 2y minus 4 by y cube, 4x by y cube, right? dy. Is it correct till this? Take the integration considering y as a constant. Without x means you don't have to consider these two terms. Integration of first term is xy plus 2x by y square. And here integration of 2y is 2y square by 2. Right, equal to c. So two two will it cancel? Yeah, this is the final solution. Y square plus x y plus two x by y square equal to c. Is it correct? This should be yeah, the yeah, answer. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, let's write one more homework question. Um, y times x square y square plus xy plus 1 dx plus x times x square plus y square minus xy plus 1. Okay. You have to find the integrating factor. Answer in this case is 1 upon x square y square. Okay. You try. You, you, can, you make. Complete, sir. Uh, pardon? Whether the question is complete, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, no, equal to zero. Okay, okay. No, dy. Yeah, sorry. Dy equal to zero. Y times x square y square plus xy plus one times dx plus x into x square y square minus xy plus one dy equal to zero. Question is find the integrating factor. Answer in this case is one upon x square y square. Okay. Um. They, they have given options like 1 upon x, y, 1 upon x square, y square, 1 upon x square, um, 1 upon y square. Okay, so B is the correct answer in this case. You may get uh, 1 upon 2x square, y square, or 1 upon 3x square, y square, upon 4x square, y square. It, it may happen like this or 2 mul 2 divided by x square plus y square constant you have to ignore and you have to take the correct answer okay because that will not make difference um, even if you remove the constant you can still convert into the exact differential equation okay so that is the overall idea so try this question whenever you have some free time So till now we have studied variable separable form, homogeneous, non-homogeneous, exact, non-exact. There can, there will be another type. Okay. So one more type is there that is a linear differential equation. Okay. Um, write down heading linear differential equation. Can you tell me? Um, when we say the uh, it's a linear differential equation linear differential equation means if the dependent variable and its derivatives should be of or are of first degree only 
okay and these should not be in multiplication okay so basically y raised to the power one term then dy by dx or let's say d2y by dx square term all these terms are of same degree or of are of one degree basically okay you should not have let's say um term y square or dy by dx whole square or dy by d2y by dx square whole cube or you even let's say y dy by dx they are also in multiplication means it's a degree 2 right so linear differential equation means your dependent variable and its derivative should not be in multiplication and their degree should be one okay of first degree only and they should not be in multiplication okay so this is the definition i hope it's clear y term dy by dx term and a higher derivatives are of first degree only okay i am not saying order here i am saying degree order can be higher second order differentiation third order derivative but its degree should be one and the derivative or, or the let's say y and if its differentiation terms should not be in multiplication so you should not have term y dy by dx so this is not linear y square term is there then it is not linear dy by dx whole cube is term there then it's not linear okay so if these kind of things are there then it's not linear i hope it's clear so if the problem is linear differential equation how to solve it that is the question linear differential equation looks like this dy by dx plus py is equal to q okay solution for it is um you know e to the power p dx is what this is integrating factor right so solution for this is y into integrating factor okay is equal to integration of q into integrating factor plus c that's all okay e to the power integration of p dx is integrating factor we already studied so in this case always that is the integrating factor so solution of um dy by dx plus py equal to q this kind of equation is y into integrating factor is equal to or in simple words y into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor plus c okay that's all in the simple words uh so this is the linear differential equation in terms of y means y is dependent and x is independent the equation can be in terms of x that is the x can be a dependent variable and y can be independent variable so dx by dy plus px equal to q it is linear differential equation in x you can say linear differential equation in x okay and now uh and here again p and q are the functions of y now or constant previously p and q were functions of x or constant now p and q are the functions of y or constant okay uh because uh, here y is independent variable and x is dependent variable so in this situation the solution is x into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor plus c okay and what is integrating factor in this is e to the power p dy okay that is the only difference so your equation the linear equation can be 
uh, linear differential equation can be in y or can be in x okay then this is how you have to solve it is it clear till this okay let's solve some question then things will be more clear let me give you one first question hmm. x cos of x Mm. No, let me just give this question first. X plus two y cube divided by dx equal to y. Okay. Um, solve this differential equation given x of one equal to zero. x of 1 equal to 0 with this hint itself we should know that x is here dependent variable and y is independent the meaning of this is when y is equal to 1 x of y equal to 1 is 0 okay this is the meaning of it so our equation here if you see it is in terms of dy by dx if you convert into the dx by dy how it will look like dx by dy equal to x Plus two y cube divided by y, so it is dx by dy equal to or minus x by y equal to two y square, right? Is it same as d x by dy plus p x equal to q? Okay, I'll go to the previous slide. Is it is type two that is linear differential equation in x? So p here is Minus one upon x. Sorry, p here is minus one upon y, and q here is two y square. What is integrating factor? E to the power integration of minus one upon y dy. So that is e to the power minus of log y. That is equal to y raised to the minus one, which is y one upon y. So the solution is x into integrating factor. Is equal to integration of q into integrating factor. Q is what? Two y square into integrating factor. And so finally, it is x by y equal to y by will get cancelled. Um, two as it is, two y square, right? Two two as it is, y square divided by y will get cancelled. You will remain y. Y is integration of y is y square by two. And two two will get cancelled, so only y square plus c. That's all. This is a solution. But how to get the c? By given by using given condition. When y is equal to one, x is equal to zero. So zero by one equal to zero plus c. So basically, no zero by one equal to one plus c. So this implies c is equal to minus one. So you can write minus one here. Okay. This is the final answer. Is it clear to you all? Okay. Let me give you one question. Try to solve it and tell me the answer. X square divided by dx plus two xy equal to two log of x by x. Okay, x square divided by dx plus two xy is equal to two times log of x by x. Given y of one equal to zero, find y. When x is equal to e, find y when x is equal to e. Okay, to this question.
to solve it. Tell me the integrating factor in this case. Yes, integrating factor is correct. X square. See, what you have to do is dy by dx is equal, to, sorry, plus divide every all terms with x square. So, what will happen? 2 y by x is equal to 2 log x by x cube. Okay. The e power minus two, sir. Wait. Yes. One upon um, one upon e square. This is the final answer. Uh that's what t e power minus 2 i told okay yeah so um yeah um so integrating factor is here e to the power 1 upon 2x so it is e to the power 2 log of x it means x square so the solution is y into integrating factor is equal to q into integrating factor 2 log of x by x cube into x square dx plus c okay so this is will get cancel um so y x square as it is 2 log x by x okay basically it is um, integration of log of x whole square okay if you integ if you differentiate log of x whole square what will you get 2 log x into differentiation of log x is 1 upon x. So it is log x square differentiation plus c. And uh, this is the solution. You have to find the value of c. Y, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to log, log, log 1 is 0 plus c. This implies c is equal to 0. So finally, y x square is equal to log x whole square is the solution what they are asking is find the y when x is equal to e y into e square is equal to log e square log e is one log to the base e e is one because it's a log to the base e e okay ln of e in short okay so this implies y e square equal to 1. This implies y is equal to 1 upon e square. Okay. Yeah. Let me give one homework question to you. x divided by dx plus y is equal to x raised to the power 4 y of 1 is equal to 6 by 5 is given find the solution 
answer for this is x y equal to x raised power 5 by 5 plus 1 okay x y is equal to x raised power 5 by 5 plus 1 here the value of c is 1 short and this is the answer you should be getting solve this and um, compare your answer here x divided by dx plus y equal to x raised power 4 y of 1 is equal to 6 by 5 answer is x y equal to x raised power 5 by 5 plus 1 okay so this is how you will solve the linear differential equation what happens if we have a non-linear differential equation okay so look at this um, slide new slide dy by dx plus p of y is equal to q into y raised to the power n here we have a higher power of or a higher power higher higher power of y it's not of degree one it the term is not with degree one okay it's a higher power so mm, it's not a linear equation anymore so it's a non-linear equation so in this kind of situation how to solve the problem but remember you don't have any anything in multiplication of the dy by dx like at least the other terms dy by dx plus py is equal to q y raised to the power n if the similar in the similar type if your problem is there then what you have to do is the substitution y is equal to sorry y raised to the power 1 minus n equal to v this substitution you will do what are you, you are doing substitution y raised to the power 1 minus n equal to v so if you differentiate it on the both the side what will happen 1 minus n y raised to the power minus n dy by dx is equal to dv by dx so in short what we are doing here is 1 upon y raised to the power n dy by dx we are writing it as 1 upon 1 minus n dv by dx okay so that is the overall background behind it right because um, if you divide the whole equation with y raised to power n you what you will get the first term 1 upon y raised to power n dy by dx and for that this is the substitution so ultimately you can convert this first equation nonlinear equation to this form 1 upon n dv by dx plus here it will be p y by y raised to power n means p in divided by y raised to the power 1 minus n right so it will be sorry it will be p into y raised to the power 1 minus n it will be v right so it is p into v that's how it is coming equal to q i hope you understood how this equation is written okay so the solution part is like basically with this what you have done is you have converted the nonlinear equation into the linear form and you know the solution solution of this will be like what is the solution v into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor right mm. So how can you write this equation basically you can also write it as dv by dx plus 1 minus n into p is equal to q into 1 minus n right so so basically the solution will be v into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor what is v v is equal to y raised to the power 1 minus n so that's why I have written here y raised to the power 1 minus n. And what is integrating factor? E to, e to the power e to the power 1 minus n into p, the second term, right? dx. So this is your integrating factor. Is equal to q into integrating factor. What is q? q into 1 minus n will be your new q, right? Into integrating factor dx. Okay. So either you can remember this question, uh, let's say formula number one and directly solve it or you can follow the step by step method. Whichever is easy you can use. If you are good at remembering the stuff, directly you can remember the formula, first formula. You don't have to do, do the substitutions and all. 
just directly put the values that's all into the equation number one but how this formula came through these couple of steps that also i have mentioned so it won't be difficult for you to solve the problem is it clear till this any doubt Okay, let me give one question. So the things will be more clear. dy by dx minus tan of x into y is equal to minus sec x into y square. Y square term is there, y is a dependent variable here, so it's non -home, non linear equation. How to solve them? You have to do some substitution. Okay. So what substitution you have to do? As I said, um, you have to sub substitute v is equal to y raised to power 1 minus n. v is equal to y raised to the power 1 minus n. So n is here what? n is 2. So basically, y raised power minus 1 equal to v means basically 1 upon y is equal to v minus 1 upon y square is equal to sorry minus 1 upon y square dv by dx dy by dx equal to dv by dx this is the substitution so how the equation this equation will look like um, if i divide the entire equation with y square 1 upon y square dy by dx minus tan x by y divided by y square will get cancelled so i'll just write y here equal to minus sec x so you you can clearly see minus one upon y square dy by dx equal to dv by ds this dv by dx so basically i can write it as a minus dv by dx to this okay minus tan of x as it is 1 upon y what we are writing it we are writing it as v is equal to minus sec x so if i multiply with a minus i'll get dv by dx plus tan x equal to sec x very clear okay so this is now a linear equation in terms of v and x where v is a dependent variable and x is independent variable so solution part of this is v into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor so what is integrating factor here e to the power minus e to the power integration of tan x dx integration of e to the power tan x is what sec x okay um because um, integration of tan x is log of sec x and e to the power log of sec x is sec x that's why directly i'm writing here sec x um so what is v so basically v into sec x is equal to integration of q into sec x dx okay plus c so what is v basically we have written v as 1 upon y so can i write here sec x by y equal to what is q q is our minus sec x sorry q is again sec x so i can write it as sec x square x dx what is integration of sec, sec square x it is tan x so sec x by y is equal to tan x plus c okay sec x by y equal to tan x plus c is the final answer is it clear to you all 
so either you can solve the problem like this step by step without any let's say confusion or anything or if you are good at remembering the um, formula what was the formula i have given this formula y raised to the power 1 minus n integration of e to the sorry into e to the power integration of 1 minus n into p dx is equal to integration of 1 minus n into q into e to the power integration of 1 minus n p dx so same thing basically here also we are doing the same thing nothing else so what is y raised for 1 minus n 1 upon y into e to the power what is integration of 1 minus n into p 1 minus 2 is minus 1 p is here uh, minus tan x so it is integration of tan x dx okay same thing integration of 1 minus n 1 minus 2 is minus and q is here minus sec x right so minus minus will become plus sec x and again integration of e to the power tan x dx plus c so ultimately you will get the same thing Inti integration of tan x is log of sec x so sec x by y is equal to integration of sec x and here e to the power again sec x so here is x square x dx plus c so it is sec x by y is equal to tan x plus c so either you can follow that method or directly put into this formula ultimately you are ending up with the same answer okay so yeah generally it's difficult to remember many formulas so i prefer um, the first one so that is, is also not difficult you can just do the substitution and solve it quickly okay any doubt till this is it clear to you all okay Another kind of, let's say, non-linear um, kind of equation will be this. Okay, non-linear uh, differential equation. F dash of y dy by dx plus p of p into f of y equal to q. Okay. I'll repeat. F dash of y dy by dx plus p into f of y equal to q. So here f dash of y may be in terms of y or in terms of x okay so basically these are two in multiplication so you don't know whether it is uh, it, it can be non-linear in this case okay um, so basically um, how to solve this question that that is the main point now so here the substitution is f of y equal to v coefficient of p is f of y you have to equate it to v so f dash of y dy by dx will be dv by dx so ultimately you are converting this equation equation number one to equation number two equation number one is in terms of y and x equation number two is in terms of v and x and equation two is now linear linear differential equation in v this is non-linear differential equation in y okay so you are converting non-linear differential equation uh, in y to linear differential equation in v by the substitution of f of y is equal to v okay i already have one question here to show um, what kind of um, question you can expect here or let's say what kind of um, question comes under this type uh, i have solved already till integrating factor uh, you have to solve it after this to get the final answer okay so x divided by dx plus y log of y is equal to x y e to the power x so first of all looking at this um, 
entire function it is clear that it's non linear because these two terms are in multiplication so if you divide the entire equation with y xy basically so it will be 1 upon y dy by dx is equal to log of y by x is equal to e to the power x is what you will get so now if you yeah uh, so here Hmm. If you compare the equation number one with this equation number three here, you can clearly see log y differentiation is one upon y. So p here is one upon x, and f of x f of y here is log of y, whose differentiation is one upon y. So log y equal to v if you substitute one upon y dy by dx will be your dv by dx. So this is your new equation dv by dx. dv by dx plus um, v by x is equal to e to the power x. dv by dx plus v by x is equal to e to the power x. Uh, now um, the question is like this is now linear equation in v. So here um, p is one upon x. Integrating factor will be e to the power. Um, integrating factor will be um, e to the power. Sorry, this is correct. Integrating factor will be e to the power integration of one upon x dx. So it is e to the power log x means x. Integrating factor is x. P is your one upon x and q is your e to the power x. Okay, it is clear till this. So what is the solution? It is pretty simple. Uh, v into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor dx plus c. V integrating factor is x, so vx is equal to q is e to the power x into x dx. So it is vx is equal to integration of e to the power x into x is e to the power x into x minus 1 plus c. And now put the value of v is equal to log of y, which we have previously kept. So x into log of y is equal to e to the power x into x minus 1 plus c. That's all. Okay, so this is how you will get the final solution. Okay, I hope uh, you understood this um, the second type as well. Any doubt till this? Okay. Uh, let me check if I have any other question. Yeah. Um, take this simple question for homework. You try it um, from the um, this overall topic uh, of substitution. Think on it what substitution you have to do and solve it later. Um, no, uh, I think I have already done it. Um, Yeah. Which substitution will reduce the given non linear equation to linear? Nonlinear equation is y dy by dx plus x square y cube equal to x cube y cube 
and um, yeah of course it's non linear because uh, y and higher powers of y is there in all the terms so you have to solve this mm. and uh, the answer in this case is v equal to 1 upon y okay so this is the answer so this substitution will reduce the given non linear equation into the linear so you can write and check whether you are also getting the same answer or not yeah um the next type of equation uh, is clarier's equation um um clarity equation the equation which is in the form like it's a very specific type of equation okay um you may you may not have studied this before it's a little special case and uh, not even asked previously any time uh, just for your information if the equation is in the form of y is equal to x into dy by dx plus f into dy by dx okay so for example if you assume dy by dx equal to p it looks like this y equal to px plus f of p okay um the reason behind writing it as to make you comfortable and small that it is f of derivative okay so that's why f of p if we write we understand like it is uh, the function in terms of uh, the p so same way here it is f of dy by dx okay then its solution is given by the equation above one that is y is equal to cx plus f of c that's all where c is a constant let me give one question then things will be more clear so what is the standard form standard form is y equal to x dy by dx plus f of dy by dx or in short y is equal to x into p plus f of p and if it the case solution is cx plus f of c is the solution right so uh, let's take one first question um, dy by dx equal to sin of y minus x dy by dx here i think some correction in this question uh, sin of y dash sin of y dash minus x dy by dx mm. oh, no 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 i think it's correct let me just uh, rewrite it sin of y minus x dy by dx yes so if you look into this question carefully um, i can write y minus x dy by dx is equal to sin inverse of dy by dx and now we can write y is equal to x dy by dx plus sin inverse of dy by dx so basically it is in the form of xp plus f of p okay so the solution is then solution is y is equal to x c plus f of c f of c is sin inverse of c okay this is the solution okay um 
let me give another question for homework you can try it uh, during your free time x minus a y dash square y dash square means dy by dx okay plus x minus y into y dash minus y dash minus y equal to zero okay um, so using Clariat's equation you have to solve it and the answer is y is equal to cx minus ac square divided by 1 plus c okay solve this um, you should get this answer so um single order um equations like till now which we have studied um like first order equations uh, by different method that is variable separable form or exact non-exact homogeneous non-homogeneous linear non-linear okay but what happens if we have a higher order linear equations with the constant coefficients okay um, so what will happen if we have a higher order equation that is now the main point so in that case the different methods are used in order to solve the higher order differential equation so write down heading higher order linear equation still we are focusing on linear equations okay linear in the sense the order will be higher but um, they are still linear means uh, the dependent variable um, the degree will be one okay the derivatives and uh, the dependent variable will have degree one and they'll not be in multiplication okay so what will happen um, when we have a higher order linear equation uh, with the constant coefficients so the equation with a higher order linear with a constant coefficient will look like as equation number one shown here and dn y by dx to the power n plus k1 times dn minus 1 y by d x to the power n minus 1 plus so on till kn minus 1 dy by dx plus kn y equal to capital X. Okay. Uh, this, in short, if you write d by dx as capital D, you can rewrite this equation number 1 as equation number 2. d to the power n plus k1 d to the power n minus 1 plus so on till kn minus 1 d plus kn times y equal to capital X, right? So equation number 1 you can rewrite as equation number 2 just by writing d by dx as capital D. The meaning of capital D here is the differential operator. Okay, Capital D is here differential operator. What is 1 upon d? 1 upon d is integral, inverse differential operator. It means integration. So ultimately f of d times y is equal to x is your higher order linear equation will look like. Okay. F of d, d means function of derivatives. Okay. F of d means function of derivatives. In general, how the function of derivative will look like? dn plus k d raised for n minus 1 plus k n minus 1 d, d plus k n. Okay. So, f of d times y equal to 0 is the higher order linear equation in the simplified form will look like. The solution for this kind of equation is given by y is equal to cf plus pi. cf stands for complementary function and pi stands for the particular integral. Okay, the solution in in this type of uh, let's say questions is cf plus pi what is this cf what is this pi we'll study in upcoming slides okay so but the you should know remember this equation number two that is f of d times y equal to capital x okay so if this capital f x is equal to zero what was the equation f of d into y is equal to capital x right so if this capital x is zero or if it is non-zero 
then this equations can be named as homogeneous and non homogeneous higher order linear equations Hi homogeneous means if x is equal to 0 means f of d into y is equal to 0 in short we don't have anything on right hand side then this is called as a homogeneous higher order differential equation and uh, the solution in that case will be only cf the solution in that case will be only cf that is complementary function pi will be zero in this case because it's a homogeneous differential equation but if capital x is non zero it means on right hand side we have some term so your f of d into y equal to x is there where x is non zero then in that case we call it as a non homogeneous higher order differential equation and then in that case the solution will be cf plus pi so in this case you also have to calculate pi on top of cf okay i hope it's clear till this the um, when the cf you have to calculate when the pi you have to calculate cf is you have to calculate always if it is homogeneous or non homogeneous but if it is homogeneous pi will be zero if it is non homogeneous pi will also come into the picture so basically cf plus pi in general will be the solution of a, a higher order differential equation in case of homogeneous pi will be zero so only cf is a solution in case of non homogeneous both pf plus ci um, cf plus pi will be the solution i hope it's clear till this feel free to ask if you have any doubt till this so at this point um, we just know what is um, um, CF and what is PI? How to calculate CF? How to calculate PI? We don't know. First, we'll start with the CF. Means we'll focus only on the let's say first of all homogeneous differential equation means f of d into y equal to zero. Okay, this kind of um, equations. Okay, um, we don't have anything on right hand side. So write down heading procedure to calculate CF. So first we'll focus only on CF that is homogeneous, which is sorry, which is basically required in both homogeneous as well as non-homogeneous. Um, so CF is very basic thing. You should know how to calculate the CF. So CF is calculated by assuming D by assuming D as an algebraic quantity. F, so F of D will equal to zero will look like as an algebraic equation because what we are assuming we are assuming D as an algebraic uh, quantity like X, Y, right? And F of X equal to zero will be our algebraic equation then, right? So if you are treating D as an algebraic uh, quantity then f of d equal to 0 will be an algebraic equation and by solving this algebraic equation we'll get the roots of that equation right whenever we solve the second order um, algebraic equation okay quadratic equation what we'll get we'll get two two solution third order um, polynomial if we have it it will have three solutions and so on right so basically higher the power what is the what is the whatever is the highest power there in the equation that many number of solutions you will get right so based on your uh, f of d you will get the number of solutions and depending on what kind of roots or what kind of solutions you are getting for that f of d equal to zero algebraic equation the cf will look like so if your roots nature of roots is like a real and distinct in that case so distinct root means m1 m2 m3 for example these are your three distinct roots then complementary function will be cm c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x plus c3 e to the power m3x 
So this is how your um, this is how your uh, complementary function will look like. Now, uh, second kind possible thing is like roots are real but repeated. So, for example, m1, m1, and m2. Here, m1 is repeated two times, right? So, in that case, solution will be the or the CF will be c1 plus c2x e to the power m1x plus c3 e to the power m m2x because m2 is a separate root. For example, if you have m1, m1, m1 three times. In that case, in that case, um, it will look like a c1 plus c2x plus c3x square e to the power m1x. That will be the only solution if m1, m1, m1 is there three times. Okay, so that is how the uh, roots uh, CF will look like in case of real roots, real distinct and real repeated. Similarly, when roots are complex and distinct. That is a plus b i and a minus b i. The roots are real and distinct. Sorry, roots are complex and distinct. In this case, C f will look like as e to the power ax, c1 cos of bx plus c2 sin of bx. And uh, if fourth case roots are complex and repeated, that is a plus or minus b i, and again a plus or minus b i. So the roots are repeating. In that case, e to the power ax, c C1 you will write as C1 plus C2x cos of bx plus C3 plus C4x sin of bx. Okay. So this is how the uh, TF will look like in case of complex and repeated roots. Okay. Write down this table and let me know if you have any doubt in this. Okay, um, then uh, I'll explain the same thing again through some examples. Okay, we'll not solve examples. Assume that these are the roots how you, you got when you are solving the um, f of d equal to zero linear, uh, sorry, uh, the algebraic equation. So roots are, let's say, for example, one, one by two and one by two. So here roots are real and distinct. So in this case, you will write CF as C1 e to the power x plus C2 e to the power minus x by 2 plus C3 e to the power plus x by 2. Okay. Second thing, roots are real but repeated. So minus 2, minus 2 repeated here. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 1. So in this case, I'll write C1 plus C2 x e to the power minus 2 x plus c3 e to the power x so this is c3 e to the power x is for one and this entire term is for repeated root which is minus two okay the next one is let's say three plus or minus four i and comma minus one so three roots are there for minus one we have let's say it's a, a real root so e to the power c3 e to the power minus x is the solution for it what about this complex root which is distinct 3 plus or minus 4i. 3 plus 4i, 3 minus 4i. e to the power 3x, c1 cos of 4x plus c2 sin of 4x this is how you will write. And let's say the last case, like plus or minus 2i, plus or minus 3i. So this is also like a real, sorry, this is also like a complex and distinct, right? So 
plus or minus 2i, it means 0 plus or minus 2i. Okay. So e to the power 0x is 1. So that is what we are not writing. So c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sine of 2x and plus or minus 3i means 0 plus or minus 3i. For that root, I can write it as c3 cos of 3x plus c4 sine of 3x. Okay. So this is how your roots will look like. And let's say the last example, 3 plus or minus 4i, 3 plus or minus 4i, where uh, roots are complex and repeated. In that case, e to the power 3x, c1 plus c2x cos of 4x, c3 plus c4x sine of 4x. This is how your solution will look like. Okay. So the same table I have explained here with some real examples. Okay. If the roots will look like this, then how you will write the solution. Now we will actually solve the questions and uh, um, create the CF, okay? Depending on types of roots, okay? So let me give you some questions here. Let's take first question. D2y by dx square minus five times dy by dx plus six y equal to zero. First of all, can you tell me it is a homogeneous or non-homogeneous higher order differential equation? Homogeneous or non-homogeneous? Anyone? It is homogeneous or not homogeneous? It's a homogeneous. Homogeneous. Because on right hand side we don't have anything. If you write it as a d square minus 5d plus 6 times y equal to 0, f of d equal to y equal f of d into y equal to 0, you are getting right. It means on right hand side we don't have anything, so it is a homogeneous differential equation, higher order differential equation. So for the homogeneous differential equation, CF will be the solution. You don't have to calculate PI here, just CF you have to calculate and that will be the solution. And how to calculate CF? As I said, you have to treat F of D as an algebraic equation. So D square minus 5D plus 6 equal to 0, you have to treat it as an algebraic equation. So when you solve this, you'll get D square minus 3d minus 2d plus 6 equal to 0. So it's basically d into d minus 3 minus 2 into d minus 3 equal to 0. So d minus 3 and d minus 2 equal to 0. This implies d is equal to 3 comma 2. Okay. So roots are real and distinct. Okay. Okay. So roots are real and distinct means CF will look like as C1 e to the power 3x plus C2 e to the power 2x. That this is how it will look like. C1 e to the power 3x plus C2 e to the power 2x. Clear? I hope you are following till this. So let me give you one question now and you try to solve it and tell me the answer. Okay. I'll give you two minutes of time. D4y by dx raised to the power 4 minus 81y equal to 0. Okay. Solve this question and tell me the answer d4y by dx raised to the power 4 minus 81y equal to 0. Okay, I'll wait for two minutes.
थ्री एंड माइनस थ्री लेके इतना दीज आर नॉट द सॉल्यूशंस थिंक ऑन इट अगेन ओके लेट मी हेल्प यू आउट डी रेस्ट द पावर फोर माइनस एटी वन टाइम्स वाई इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट इज डी स्क्वेयर माइनस नाइन एंड डी स्क्वेयर प्लस नाइन equal to zero basically correct uh, yeah plus or minus 3 is correct but one more one two more terms will be there like it because it's a fourth order um, uh, differential equation so it will have four solutions okay or um, basically um, four values for the d so d will be either plus or minus 3 and Plus or minus three i because d square will be minus nine and root of minus nine will be plus or minus three i, correct? So total four roots. These two roots are real and distinct. These are complex and distinct. So uh, the CF will be e to c one e to the power three x plus c two e to the power minus three x. This is for the real and distinct roots. For complex, it is zero plus e three i. It means e to the power zero x is one. So I'll not write it. C one cos of three x plus c two sine of three x. Okay. So this is the final solution. Are you following it? Is it clear till this? Okay. Mm. Let me give you one more question. Um, uh, we are at the end of the session, but um, yeah, we'll solve one question and uh, then we'll end our session. Okay. Let me give you one last question. Y double dash plus two p y dash. Plus p square plus q square y equal to zero. Okay, y double dash means double derivative of y. So it's again a homogeneous differential equation because d square plus two p d plus p square plus q square. Times y equal to zero. Um, so this is an homogeneous differential equation, and if it is homogeneous differential equation, CF will be the solution. So you have to treat this equation as an algebraic equation: d square plus two p d plus P square plus Q square equal to zero. So the solution is minus B. You know, x is equal to minus B plus or minus under root of B square minus four AC by two A. Can you tell me the values of D here? Similarly, Four p square minus four p square will get cancelled. So in 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 short, you have only q square here. Four uh, q square and the root of four q square is uh, minus four q square is what? Two q i. So basically, it is minus two p plus or minus two q i divided by two. Two two will get cancelled. So minus p plus or minus Qi is the. Uh, these are the two roots for the given differential equation, uh, given algebraic equation. So the solution y is equal to you can write. See, basically is y. So here you can write y because y is equal to generally C F plus P I. But in case of homogeneous P I is zero, so y is equal to C F itself. 
okay so here y is equal to um, cf is what e to the power minus px c1 cos of qx plus c2 sine of qx that's all Okay, uh, this is the um, solution for the given question. I'll give you one or two questions for homework. Uh, you solve it during your free time. Y triple dash minus Y four Y double dash plus five Y dash minus two Y equal to zero. Here the values of D you will get as 1 comma 1 comma 2. Okay, this is your homework question. You try it. So CF will be equal to C1 plus C2X e to the power X because it's a real and repeated root which is 1 plus C3 e to the power 2X which is a distinct root. Mm. Another homework question is Yeah, it will be question y double dash plus four y dash plus thirteen y equal to zero. Given that y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 1 okay find the solution so here the answer is y is equal to um, basically y is equal to e to the power minus 2 c1 cos of 3x plus c2 sine of 3x you will get but c1 and c2 you have to find by using the given condition y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 1 c1 you should get 0 c2 you should get 1 by 3 so the final answer here is e to the power minus 2x e to the power minus 2x um, by 3 sine of 3x this is the final answer okay as you can guess here roots are d is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 3 okay so these are the solutions the roots i have given the constants i have given match your answer with this okay um, don't um, <coughs> directly write it um, solve on your own and this is these values are just for your comparison okay if you are if your answer is not matching you will get some idea and uh, you can let's say dig into the details if it is correct then that's very good okay um yeah uh, one more question or similar question i'll give for homework the next slide right whenever you get free time 9y double dash minus 6y dash plus y equal to 0 here y of 0 equal to 3 and y dash of 0 equal to 1 here i'll directly give you answer i'll not give you the values of c1 c2 and uh, d question is quite simple same process you have to follow the final answer you should get as 3 to the power x by 3 9y double dash minus 6y dash plus y equal to 0 okay solve this question uh, or maybe i'll solve this um, so that the previous one which you can solve um, uh, just to give you overall idea about these kind of questions okay see I have to treat this as a um, let's say 9d square 
minus 6d plus 1 time y equal to 0. I have to treat this as an algebraic equation 9d square minus 6d plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, the d can be solved by using formula minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a which will end up with 6 plus or minus 0 root 0 is 0 so 6 divided by um, 18 that is 1 by 3 common 1 by so roots are 1 by 3 plus 0 and 1 by 3 minus 0 so 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 are the roots okay so roots are uh, real and repeated so uh, the cf part will be or y is equal to c1 plus c2 x e to the power x by 3 this is the solution uh, the given that y of 0 equal to 3 means whenever x is equal to 0 the value of y is 3 so 3 is equal to c1 plus 0 e to the power 0 means 1 this implies c1 equal to minus c1 equal to 3 basically similarly if you calculate y dash differentiation of y with respect to x is um, e to the power x by 3 as it is and differentiation of c1 plus c2x is c2 plus um, um, c1 plus um, c2x as it is differentiation of e to the power x by 3 is e to the power x by 3 divided by 1 by 3 sorry di multiply by 1 by 3 so i'll just divide it with 3 given that y dash of 0 is 1 so 1 will be equal to c2 plus 1 by 3 times c1 and c1 is again 3 so basically c2 is 0 so c1 plus c2x e to the power x by 3 will look like as 0 plus 3 e to the power x by 3 so that's why the final answer i can write it as 3 to the power x by 3 okay so this is just for your understanding um, so that you can solve these kind of questions whenever let's say c1 c2 are supposed to be calculated i have already given one question for homework and answer for that as well so you can spend some time on it and solve it okay so that's all i have for today um, in the next session on the weekend uh, we will continue this chapter and understand the method to calculate the particular integrals okay so um, that is the overall agenda about the next um, next class and mostly in the next class we'll complete this topic uh, because we just have like two more type of um, uh, equations like which are uh, Cauchy's differential equation and um, Legendre's differential equation that's all okay uh, and which are the subtypes of um, this higher order differential equation so it will not be um, much different so that's all we have for today um, thank you all for joining this session and let's meet again um, in the next class thank you all bye good night If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'll end the session now. <clears throat>